hey, John Reed, jdud.com, Sapphire shoot number one. But we're going to talk developers, which we don't typically do at Sapphire, but we're going to this year because you guys say you've got some news that is actually important enough that, that we should be paying attention today. So I've got Jurgen to my left, I've got Craig, and I've got Thomas. So why don't we start with you, Thomas? Tell me a little bit about uh, why does developer engagement matter to SAP right now, maybe more than it has in the past, and what are you guys doing about it? Sure. So for developers, like one thing is what we definitely see a lot, like the developers become more and more important, and not only for developing new stuff, but also for the business side. So if you look at like IT 10 years back, like you pretty much like thought like, okay, you can outsource everything and you have your shop somewhere offshore. Um, nowadays, like with new technologies around cloud, mobile, uh, and also like databases, big data, you see a lot of um, interest from the business side again in developers. Just think about the uh, chief marketing offices. They, they like run all these marketing um, mobile apps like to build them and that's where they need good talent and good developers to build this stuff. So on Wednesday, uh, we're taping before Vishal's keynote, but we're going to hear some stuff. Um, which one of you wants to share the, the news that I think developers are going to want to hear? Is it you? <clears throat> well, well, we started uh, half a year ago at TechEd to hand out free test and trials on SAP HANA, and on Wednesday, we're gonna make the next step, and we're going to announce free perpetual developer licenses for SAP HANA for anybody. All you need is an SCN user, so you don't need to be an existing partner or customer or anything, just an SCN user. And um, for you to not have to buy these big boxes HANA runs on, we put it on Amazon. You can choose uh, images between 16 and 64 gigabyte of RAM, and you only pay Amazon, you don't pay SAP. So what did it take to get this out the door? What, what made you do it and what did it take? Yeah, pretty much like the, the focus what we have is like really to get first the developers interested. So that's where we started a, f um, a few months back with the free trials. So anybody, any developer can get a free trial, run the system like a HANA box or a Sybase Unwire platform for 30 days. Uh, we have a lot of tutorials also available, so you can get easily started, and that's all on the SAP Dev Center now. Um, next step is really, you figure out the system, you get more interested, you want to get more serious about developing. That's where we put the systems with Amazon Web Services in place. So, yes, you have to pay for the services, like for Amazon, but it's it's like compared, like you get full access to a, to a HANA system. Like it's it's really at a low cost for everybody to build their HANA applications. And then finally, like the, the last step is like, okay, if you have done your development, that's also where we're looking at the value chain, like really also to supporting these developers, not only just to, to develop this stuff, but how they get it out. How can they become a partner? How can they put applications like into the, into the app store, et cetera? So it's, it's really from, I always say like from getting interest, writing the first line of code, to writing your first product, to like also selling your work to the customers. So when we talk about some of the challenges around developers and, and, and moving into an app store type of culture where developers are selling apps, we hear about things like whose IP is it, who owns the IP, liability issues with customers. Did you guys solve that too? I can take that because I've spent the last days reading those licensing <laughs> <laughs> agreements. Um, so the IP of anything you build on SAP HANA remains yours. You're even free to commercialize it. You just don't have a license to run it productively. Guys, I got to admit, I'm a little confused. Where's the friction in this process? I'm, I'm looking for all the <laughs> friction. This is what we always hear about with developers in SAP. You guys sound like you might have actually taken it out, huh? Well, I think I can take that one. The biggest friction that you're going to hear right now is exactly that. Everybody wants to know where is it. You know, it has become a lot easier. A lot of things have smoothed out. There's a lot of great people involved now in the process that are really pushing it out the door. And, you know, there's been a, a wide awakening in terms of what is what and what is not. And I think a lot of people are starting to realize that it's not as complicated as everybody might have thought. And so the friction angle is just people being skeptical. Mm. Well, I guess you could put me in that boat. I'll just see if I can get over it someday. Uh, but let me ask you, Craig, um, 
you're you're back and and ha you have some evil plans around this stuff as well. Um, obviously, yes. developer engagement isn't like a s one announcement. It's 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 a continuation. So, what's going to happen? What kinds of things do you have cooking? Well, I think most people have, have by now have heard about the InnoJam events that Jurgen's team with Ann Hardy have been pushing out the door. They've done them at TechEds, they've done them at DCOMS. Um, it's where you get access to all sorts of technology, all types of technology. You, you spend 30 hours working together with all so sorts of different types of people, so from the business side, from the design side, from the developer side, to create new innovative ideas around these technologies. Then, of course, we've had the Demo Jam event take place at TechEdge since 2004, where people can showcase these innovations. And uh, just recently in April, we launched a pilot phase of an event called the SAP Code Jam. What we did was we took the concept of the Hacker Night from TechEd's past, and we said, let's do it again, but this time let's do it a little bit differently. Let's not be at TechEd, but let's be everywhere. And uh, we went to Berlin and London and Tel Aviv. We focused in on a single aspect as opposed to a broad, broad range. So Tel Aviv um, was one of the, the, the best of the three uh, pilot phases. In fact, Tel Aviv asked us to come back every other month. Um, they want to do more of these. Um, and basically, we focused on NetWeaver Gateway as a, as a single idea. Uh, we had startup companies there. They all sat down with SAP experts. They opened up their laptops. They got connected through the Dev Center um, that Thomas mentioned, and they began coding that night. It was a fantastic thing, and it's all about getting the developers talking both internal and external to each other and engaging with each other. So it's, it's time to talk again. It's time to break down the walls and engage with each other openly. So you're saying these events are also designed for the non-SAP developer as well Definitely. and mix it up? So have you seen some dialogue going on there that's interesting between those that have the SAP know-how and those that don't? Oh, Tel Aviv, like I said, Tel Aviv was one of the best, and we had a startup company there. They had one guy from the startup company that had an SAP background. The others did not. The guy drag, drug his friends there basically to it. They all started playing around with Gateway, and they were blown away with how easy it was to, to get enabled and to start working on it through the Dev Center, and they, began, they even had a small app running by the end of the night. Okay. I haven't seen the kill sign from Dennis yet, so I want to hit you with one more, which is uh, there's also the mobility and cloud pieces, right? Yes. And, and there's a lot going on with mobility. There's been some recent announcements around some new mobility partnerships. So how does all this tie together? I assume you've been looking at how these different pieces can, can be pulled together for developers. Yeah, so pretty much I guess like we focus on, on four areas. So one is mobility, and I think we are most advanced on the mobility angle already, like with the, the SUP trial, et cetera, in the dev center. Um, HANA, we also have a good uh, footprint in the dev center. Now what's, what's coming new is cloud. So the SAP NetWeaver cloud, uh, we will open that one up also this week. Um, so you can get like f full access again, like as a trial to a NetWeaver cloud environment and, and build your apps there. And then the third one that's like on the, on the gateway angle is around APIs. That's also what we're building up, like APIs, SAP UI5, et cetera. So the, like, it's pretty much like what we're doing is like putting everything which was scattered around a lot of locations into one central place, that's the dev center. And we also have a cool URL developers.sap.com. That's where you find everything. All right, guys, you heard it here first. Hope you have a good sapphire.